Hello everyone. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Sonia and today we are going to talk about pothos. And at the end, I'm going to show you a very simple and easy DIY. So let's get started. Pothos are also known as money plant in India and it's considered as a very lucky plant as well. So you'll find lots of varieties in pothos. The one which I have that is enjoy pothos and the other is neon pothos. They are look just look at that they are so beautiful. These plants are very easy to maintain, best for beginners and you can keep like anywhere in the house. You can keep outdoor, indoor and even in bathrooms. They will survive. And now let's talk where you'll find this. This is very easy to find plant. You can find anywhere like local nursery, online and even you can take cuttings from your, your friends or families. I am going to use this hanging basket for my neon pothos. You will get this uh, online at a very reasonable price. I will link the details in description below. Now let's come to soil. It should be a well drainage soil and it should be very light. So whenever you water it should sweep through to the drainage hole. So the soil mixture which we are taking is 50% coco peat, 25% garden soil and 25% vermicompost. To make it light I am adding a handful of perlite. Pothos don't like to sit in a soggy soil. so. Whenever you water, water it thoroughly and make sure that water is coming out from the drainage hole. I have added cuttings to this jar around 12 days before and you can see the roots that has developed. Oh wow, it's a very healthy roots. Whenever you are propagating pothos or in that case any plant in water make sure you check water level and fill with the normal tap water there's no required to use a filter water and uh, try to replace or change water every three four days pothos basically like to drink more so check oftenly now let's talk about giving fertilizer to pothos you can fertilize this guys once in six months you can buy from any local nursery now let's talk about the natural sunlight every plant needs sunlight to grow healthy plants which are kept indoor get artificial or the indirect sunlight they need to shift once or twice a week morning sunlight will be best for them you can keep in sunlight for at least two three hours Okay, so now the next thing is to take a cutting. I'm so sorry, I don't have a video on it as I said. So I'll just tell you, so opposite of every leaf, you'll find two or three nodes from which the roots are gonna develop. And you just need to take a half inch above the node and half inch above the leaf. You just need to cut and you'll find, you'll get this cutting and just propagate in water or directly in soil now let's start adding our potting mix to this container as of now I'm just going to fill three fourth of it Okay, now let's start adding our cuttings to this so the roots or the nodes which you can see that should be facing downward and just press into the soil slightly I want this guy to trail out and not in due to which the leaves are facing outside it will look like a crown so now I'm just gonna add this
along with this I'm just going to finish the other side of it technique is simple just push the roots downward and leaves should be pointing outside and that's it as soon as you see three or four new leaves which are growing you can take cutting and fill in the empty space and it's done you can see how beautiful it looks now the enjoy photos i'm going to plant in this i don't have any other planter apart from this it's a very old small black planter so just adding few broken pieces of uh, clay pot to cover the drainage hole next question is where to find this broken piece of pot you can go to any local nursery and ask for this they will just give you uh, in free of cost even this planter i'm just filling 3/4 of it and uh, the same technique the notes facing downward press into the soil leaves facing outside there is no such rule uh, how to place this leaves you can place in any direction as you like after this i'm going to show you a very easy and simple diy to convert this into a hanging planter adding more potting mix if required to cover the stems and press lightly we will water this later uh, the coco pit which you are using it's bit moist so you don't need to water much so now it's time for diy so i'm taking a cotton rope which is 90 cm long the left strand will be going over the right one and the right one will go below the left one and it will come like this like a cross and uh, between this we will place our planter now the knot part will go underneath of the loop the longest section go over the planter like this the left and right of the longest section will go underneath and bring that outside and it's done your hanging planter now let's talk about watering this guys you only need to water them when you feel the soil is dry you can just touch and feel it do not over water this if the water is staying in the planter for a longer period of time then the roots will get in contact with water and there is a chance to get a root rot and your plant will die as of now i'm just adding very less amount of water because the coco peat which we have added already contains moisture if you want you can spray them daily to keep the soil moist and even the leaves will look fresh whenever you are watering water them thoroughly and see that the water should seep out from the drainage hole i hope this video was useful to you and you enjoyed it if you did please click on like button comment share and subscribe to my channel take care stay safe stay healthy bye